Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, whew, um, it's been a rough uh, 24 hours for my my brother, Mr. C, for the radio station, High 97. And uh, C, we've been sitting here before, sir. This is the second time. Yes. Um, now, a video uh, came out yesterday mm-hmm. um, with you. Um, well, what appeared, it sounded like you mm-hmm. in a car with what? I guess according to the video was a transgender man, woman. Mm-hmm. Uh so um man, um I I don't even know where to uh take this conversation cuz last time we talked see um you know you said that you were dealing with some personal things. You said you were addicted to um prostitutes, I think is what you told us. And strippers. And strippers. Um but you said you weren't gay. And right. you said you weren't uh, bisexual. Right. Um, and, you know, um, and we moved on, you know, and you've been dealing with this uh, privately, what, you know. Uh, I know you told me you've been to therapy. Yes. Um, we've been supportive as a family, but after this video comes out, I don't re- really know what to tell the listeners who, you know, obviously I, I take our listeners seriously because without them we'd, we wouldn't have a job, so I kind of feel obligated to share especially when something like this happens in public and especially when it's um you know you're you're breaking the law my g you know what i'm saying with right. the with the soliciting of prostitution so right now we're here today now what do we do well you know first and foremost man it's you know i uh you resigned yesterday i resigned yesterday from the station against your wishes <laughs> and against management wishes which is a part of the reason I I want you up here today because I you know whatever you going through personally and whatever drama it's bringing your family here at the radio station through we don't turn our back on people and you were just like look I'm tired of taking y'all through this and I'll deal with this on my own and you know the part of the reason that that I did say yesterday that I'm tired of putting the station through it is you know, I don't want you guys to lose, you know, sp- sponsors and money and so yeah, on and but so see, forth. But, but let, let me let me let me let me finish. I, I I don't want you guys to lose that. That's part of keeping the state afloat is the income of the station. Yeah, but we have But but also I don't want to I'm 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 I am tired of trying to do something or be something that I'm not. I'm tired. I'm tired. So. You know, have I lied about getting sexual fellatio in the car with a transsexual? Yes. Okay. I have lied about that. Okay. And I feel bad. Whoa. I feel bad for the listeners that it did take a video for me to say this because I have been in denial with this for a very, very long time. A very long time. Now, the funny part of it, and I know I'm going to get hit with social media when I get ready to say this. Doesn't matter, my dude. Don't but worry. But I'm going to. I'm going to. But I'm going to say it anyway. Do I consider myself gay? No, I don't consider myself gay. I do. I have gotten fellatio. Uh, what would you call? What was? What's the clean way of saying? That's it? clean. That's clean uh, enough. From deal with it. Take your time, my from, dude. From from. Uh, transvestites and that's as far as it went i never had i never you don't i mean listen you, know, you don't have listen we're not here to judge but i want to i just want to you know i just want to i've never had actual sexual intercourse with another man mm-hmm. and vice versa that has never been done to me but i have had fellatio that's the best way i could put it with that's fine a, a, a transsexual person um the person who I was in the car with, I know exactly who that person is. Okay. Um, and and why that's, would, neither, that, that's neither here nor there. But, but I why know would exactly, they want to harm you like this? I, I honestly don't know, Breeze. You know, I really don't know. You know, I, I like I told you yesterday, I, and I went on the air yesterday, you know, that video is an old video. Um, How old? Maybe like, probably like the end of last year. Now, I've told you several times, and- even even in private that, you know, we knew you was going through something tough. <coughs> and, you know, because we live public lives, you know, 
we felt like after you had your second incident, we needed to have this discussion in public because I know there's a lot of listeners who struggle with the same things that you struggle with. You know, I, it's and and people and let me finish. And people look up to us, and I know that's a lot of pressure to put on you. And and I and I I do want to say, you know, you don't owe anybody anything. But when we get up here every day, we do owe it to our listeners to be as real as we could be. And 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 it's and in saying that. I've been honest with you where I've told you that, you know, people questioned whether you were being honest with us when we had our last dialogue. But I let it be at that because I didn't want this to be some sort of like public, um, you know, beating. But I did want to be as transparent with the listeners as possible. And I want to thank you right now for no matter how long it took. I know you want to be apologetic that it took this video coming out for you to be honest, but. Um, I just want to say thank you, man. And I know, and I know people listening that struggle with what, you know, with being honest about who they are, no matter what it is, they appreciate you right now. They really do. Well, um, to be honest with you, we'll, we'll see what happens after this. If, if the appreciation, it's, they're going to appreciate We'll, we'll you, see what man. happens after this. And, and, and honestly, Breeze, that's been my whole dilemma all this time. My whole dilemma has always been, am I still going to be looked at the same way? Absolutely you will. Am I still going to be... All right. Absolutely, man. You're a legend, my man. Let it out. You're a legend. And I think... I do believe, man, people just wanted you to be honest. People just wanted you to be honest, and I appreciate you, man. And and I know the people listening appreciate you. My, you know, my whole fear of this whole thing, of what I've been going through, is most importantly, my family, you know. I don't talk about my family too much. But my whole thing, was just really about uh, making sure my family was gonna be all right because I, when I, when I tell you Breeze, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. But we, my whole thing was just making sure, as far as people judging your family. No, nah, not people judging my family, but just you know, I hold my family down, man. You know. I hold my family down. Ever since my grandfather passed away in 2006, I've been the person that's between me and my aunt that's been really consistently trying to keep my family afloat. And I've never wanted this situation to get in the way of me continuing to do that. Because as much as people may say, hey, I'm going to ride with you and hey, I'm going to be there for you. That's today on September 12th. That may not be next week. It may not be two weeks from now. It may not be three weeks from now or three months from now. And that's something that I'm going to have to face. But that's always been my fear of not being honest within myself and within our listeners. Will you Will you reconsider resigning? Will you stay and, and, and stay on High 97? Will you reconsider that? I mean, you don't, you don't have to give me an answer today, but you got a place if you want to be here with us, man. You don't have to be afraid. I, you, know, right, you know, right now, I just feel like, I just really feel like I let y'all down, man. And I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could stand back in this, in this studio again and, and be the same person. I don't. Yes, I don't you can, know. man. I want you to stay on with us if that's what you want, man. The door's open. And the crazy thing about it is that I don't look at what I do. I I don't look at what I do as a problem. I just look at it as it's a, it's a problem that affects the people but you do understand that 
you do understand that on the prostitution side of things, that's a crime. I understand. That's that. the only thing that we're worried about is that is a crime. I understand. Outside of that, we it doesn't matter. I understand. Your that. private life is your private life, and can you can we at least walk with you through? fixing the the aspect of it that could get you in trouble. The Yo, prostitution was, thing could get you in trouble to where you can't hold already, it down for your the, family. Though the, the crazy thing, Breeze, is that I was already in motion, my nigga. I was already in motion of repairing that and trying to move better as far as what I did in my private life. You know, with the situation that happened in May, and I was the situation that happened in May with the undercover male officer, everything that I told you back then was the God's honest truth. I that, went to court Monday and the charges was dropped. I have not been involved in any type of activity since probably the beginning of the year. So, so I, I, I've, I've been moving forward to trying to move better, you know? But it's like I take one step forward and then it's like, it, it's almost like the Anthony Weiner situation. It's like, you know, you come forward and you say what it is and, and so on and so forth. And now here's a text that comes, an old text, or here's an old video that comes. And my thing is like, man, am I going to have to keep answering to this? But now and, you and, won't. Now, now it's, see, now you, now you, now you free, see? You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry no more, man. People going to pass judgment. They going to pass judgment. They was already passing judgment. But now it's gone. They can't say nothing. We weathered storms. Cats talking crazy. All that. We weathered all that. We stood up here together as a family. You don't have to resign, my dude. You get in here and play music because there's a majority of the people who don't care about this drama, man. I, I know. I know. I know that. They just want you to play their favorite song every day. You're a legend. They respect your your music. They respect how you put it together. They respect what you've done for hip hop. You don't have to fold up, man. I I know that. I just I just feel like I just feel like in my heart, man. You know, as much as I have rode and and and, and have I rode for the station, I just feel like I I've just I feel like I let so many people down. Up. I just. I just feel I let a lot of y'all up here down, man. And it, and I, I I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart, man, for you to say, yo, you don't have to resign. There's a place for me up here. But I have to think I have to think about that, man. I I have to I have to think about it. And I know me, it may sound stupid because by anybody be like, yo, you back on the box. Get back on the Let's box. Go. Let's go. But I have to I have to think about it cuz look, you know, like today I'm I'm being I'm being honest, man. I'm I'm talking about who I am and what I am. You know, and so I got to deal with that first before I can get to the br the bridge that I know that I love, which is being on this radio. I you know, do you think um you know, you being from a West Indian background. That has a lot to do with it. Absolutely has a lot to do with it because, you know, my father's Trinidadian. And uh, I always ride out for the Caribbean community as much as I can up here at this station. And, uh. Yeah, but say it, see, there's cats out here listening to your voice right now that are, are living a lie. You're finally getting to a point where you are letting uh, uh, what's, you know, whatever your fears are inside you out. This it's getting out. There's other people living that 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 lie right now, and there's nothing wrong with being who you are. We are. It's a different place in hip hop. It's a different place in society today than it was ten years ago, twenty years ago, and so on. You don't have to be afraid, and you know. You know that a lot of people are living lies, so they can't look you in the eye in front because you know. Yeah, I know. 
And, and, and you know, it's so it's, it's got to stop, know, man. It's got to stop. People got to stop with the lying. If that's the life, look, you said we started this conversation. You said, I don't consider myself gay. I don't know all the categories, it's mad categories. I ever people, and it's not up to and me even to with judge. That, and even with me, and let, let me make that clear even with me saying that, I know I'm still in denial. But that's you, and I, I, no I, one's you know, half I know, the battle, know, my dude. I, I know that I'm still in denial because I know that I love women. Any woman that's been with me know that I love women. But occasionally, I get the urge to have fellatio with a transsexual, a man that looks like a woman. So, that's and, a- then, and, then, and then I'm sitting here saying, but I'm not gay because I haven't penetrated but don't let, man. Don't let, but don't let... But I- Don't let society put, you put, listen, all the listeners from the last conversation we had, the most of the feedback was, we love Mr. C. We want him to be honest about his feelings. And on top of that, we don't, that's his thing. Just play the music. But because we live in a world where people, and because we're on, on a public platform, we give a lot of ourselves to people. You don't have to categorize yourself no way that you don't want to. No, I get it. We gonna love you regardless up here, and I know the listeners is gonna love you. I get it, and but it's not easy, man. It hasn't. No, it, ain't. it hasn't been easy, man, for me, man. It, it has. It has not been easy for me to. To. Well, why did this happen in 2011? And then why did it? And to just keep lying and to just keep lying and just keep lying. It has not been easy, but. I have I have tried to protect I have tried to protect myself for the wrong reasons. Meaning that wondering what the streets is gonna say. Or, you know, am you I know still, what I said. am I still gonna get bookings? Is people is the promoter still gonna book me if I say, Hey, occasionally I have fully shield with a transsex a Yo, transsexual. Me, am I still gonna And get let me tell you this, you know who got the most money running around out here? I get it. I get it, Breeze. I, 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 I we done had this conversation I where I want. I was like, "See, go ahead and say it. you wasn't ready." People are still gonna book you, and you know what I always say about the streets? <laughs> F the streets. And most of these cats walking around here acting so tough all the time, anyway, is probably into similar activity. That's why they gotta overcompensate and act so tough all the time. So that's been my, that's been my battle, but. I was only able, honestly, I was only able to fight, but for so long. You know when the, you know, you, when the video came out yesterday, and man, it's just like, man, man, I salute you, man. I salute you for doing this. I don't know. I, People love you, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where I go from here. You know, you come up here. You do noon today. I know. Twelve o'clock I know. today. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Breeze. But no, let me tell you something. And every. What you're going through probably can't be compared to anything I've ever been through. But coming to work every day, being around people you know have a common goal, who care about you regardless of what clothes you wear, what your sexual preference is, what your ethnic background is. We got people from all walks of life up here at Hot 97. You know that. You come here every day. You get on that box at 12 o'clock. I just want to um I just want to I just want to apologize to everybody man that uh that felt like every anybody that has ever listened to me that felt like I I I Flex betrayed just them in. See what up? I'm good. I'm good. You know, Breeze, what up? I just chill, flex. Chill, I just chill. I just let the cat. <laughs> I just flex, let I just let the, give him a minute. Give him I just let the, sorry, I'm come sorry. Come here, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I'm sorry. I just let the cat out the bag for him. But I, as I was saying, I just wanna, I just wanna, I wanna apologize to all the listeners that felt betrayed by my lies. I wanna apologize to my coworkers who felt betrayed by my lies, because you guys live, you you guys live, you know, when we leave here and and I go through what I go through, you guys are getting questioned and going through it just as much, and I I, I apologize to to all of y'all and uh. I hate that it had to come to this because I don't. It, it bothers me that, it, you know, it bothers me. And I was talking to Funk about this yesterday on the phone. It bothers me that 
is making it feel like, okay, you are really caught now, fam. Like, you are really, really caught. Sometimes it but happens like that. They wanted answers. They wanted answers. Yo, Funk, what are you doing up so early? You had to Man. be a part of this? Yo, listen, to be honest, I, I stayed out. I rode around the Chevelle, and, I, and I, I couldn't get to sleep. So then I drove the Chevelle downtown. <laughs> I drove it downtown. I got parked out front. So I said, you know what? I'm going to come down here. I mean, I'm going to see what's going on. Are you really turning this into car talk right now? I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nah, but I no nah, real real real. I commend though. you, Mr. C yeah. for being here and and uh dealing and talking with everything. We rock out, we all rock out together. I'm happy that you're up here. We I heard what brought me in the room was I heard some talk of no, what's, what's that? I'm trying to get when him the, to reconsider resigning. The big show today. <laughs> the big show. They're going to want to hear that. See. Yo, man, I'm sorry, man. We in it together, my brother. We Yo, we will get through we this. We in it together, man. Yo, fuck, man. I uh, just want to say thank you, man. Like, <laughs> love you, man. We've been together for a long time, see? You gave me those talks, too. You know, I, re- you know I remember those talks you gave me. If it wasn't for Funk, Funk stayed on me on the phone yesterday. Like, my dude, you got to bring this home. <laughs> and, you know... I, I'm just glad I'm around good people, man. We care about you, see. I'm just glad I'm around good people, man. We care about you, man. Sure. You know, sorry is like the weakest word, but I don't know a better word that I can say, man, that can really express. You do my, not. My, 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 you know, my forgiveness, man. You realize you do not have to apologize for anything that you love to do. Nothing. You don't have to apologize for who you are. Ever. Ever. Mm-mm. Ever. Do not feel like that. But I, I I do definitely to mis to mislead all of you guys is not was not cool. That uh it ain't gonna happen again. You know, um, man, I, it ain't you gonna it ain't gonna happen this, again. You know something, man. What What's our blueprint for this? You know, you. A lot of us, man, we never been here before. This is our first time in C, so you know, you know, I get it. You know what I mean? I get it. I get it. You know, e- Ebro don't see e- it. Ebro don't even know about this. You know, when I got arrested in May, you don't know about this. When I got arrested in May, I had a conversation with Flex on the phone. We was on the phone that the, the morning that I was on the show with you guys. He kept and it 100. I, and, I, and I was on the phone with Flex. I mean, he, if he Flex told me he's not ready, and I told the audience. I, said, I was like, look, I'm not going to. But this is after I did that show. I understand. You. I knew you was lying to me, though. <laughs> and I told you you was lying to me. I went on. I was on the phone with Funk, and, and I said this in these exact words. I said, Funk. Cause Funk, you know, you know how Funk talks to you. He's dancing and dancing. He don't really want to. You're not using the specific words. And I want to get off the phone. I said, Funk, what I'm not asking. I'm not asking what I should be asking. I said, Funk, what do you, what do you, Funk, what do you really want to ask me? Do you want to ask me? (laughs) Have I ever gotten a into a situation with a she male? The answer is yes. I said this to Funk on the phone. He said to me. I said, Funk. The answer is yes. But I also said to Funk. I said. But I'll never get caught. Now he said, "I got it." You got no, it. I said, yo, I said, I, "Listen to me, listen to me." I said, "Funk, I, I got this. I'll never. It's. Not, I'm not gonna get caught." And and we didn't speak until I heard him on the radio with you. <laughs> and I was like, and I was what? like, and well, Funk, that doesn't seem to be who we talking and Funk, about. And Funk, said, and Funk said, and Funk like, said, and oh, Funk said, Funk said, "See, you got this." I said, <laughs> "Funk, I got this." So I'm thinking, all right, but listen. You can't, you can't live in a world where you're running from who you are, too long, uh, whatever, wh- whoever and whatever you are, you can't live in that world. And and see, 
I knew you was lying to me, but I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna get into a back and forth in front of the listeners like that. Oh, you hammered me that day. I, I mean, I had. I mean, you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, wasn't. Yeah, you hammered. I didn't give you. I. I mean, I could have. Oh. If it was somebody who didn't work, he's questioning. <laughs> no, you. You my brother. We see him then, stay on people. And then me and Funk talk afterwards. It's like, yo, Breeze gave it to you easy. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nah, I didn't feel that. That was easy, Funk. I feel like he was really going Plus after Was too much the, pausing? Yeah. And not re-asking of the question. That when is. I don't re-ask the question. That means I'm letting you off the hook. But I'm gonna say this. See. I want you on at noon. I want you to be proud of who you are. I want you to be up here with us. I want you to reconsider that resignation. Let's get to the action, man. No, what people are gonna people you you have made people's day. Stop calling me, man. C's gonna be out. You're stressed. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, I'm like yo. The promoters can't call me now. It's too early. It's too early. It's too early. See, everything's a mess. Prev, relax. I'm there tonight, Prev, with two chains tonight. Our release party, Club All Star, Elizabeth, New Jersey. I'm there tonight. Calm down. I'm there tonight. (laughs) Flex, go get some sleep. Nah, we good. Yes, sir. Um, C, you here at 12 today or you want some time off? You make the call. We're 12, C, stop! <laughs> We're going to do 12 today. 12 today? We're going to do 12 today. There it is. We're gonna Yo, do listen, today. see, I, I know it's not the time, but what you did today um, in hip-hop is, is monumental. And I don't, I don't, I know that's not why you're doing it, I know you're doing it because this is cleansing and this is um you couldn't you couldn't hide anymore. No, I couldn't I couldn't. I couldn't. But it's important for you to know that you have saved people's lives today in a real way. There are people out there right now that are going through things and are hiding from who they are, whatever it is, man. Afraid to be judged because of the culture they come from because of the uh, of the ethnic background or, or economic background like people people love you man we love you at high 97 and I'm telling you you have nothing to be afraid of these tough talking uh, uh people in the hood or on Twitter or Instagram they're frauds they hide behind blogs and social media all day long nobody is as real as what you just did right now i i never i never i never fear i never question or i never fear that as far as I, it's just me man it's just within myself yeah but that's how we've been programmed being, being comfortable within myself that's that's the whole thing with me being comfortable within myself because I'm going to still walk the streets the way I always walk the streets, and I'm far from a tough guy. But it's always been being comfortable with myself and worrying about what the next person is going to say. And I'm not going to worry no more, man. It's freeing, right? It's I'm cleansing. Gonna, I'm it's not, cleansing. I'm just not going to. I'm just not going to worry no more, man. I laid it all out as much as I can lay it all out. I laid it all out today. and I gave you exactly what it is. And I just hope the people that got love for me still got love for me. And the people that got hate for me, you can have, you your, suckers. You can, you can have your hate. You saw. You can have your and hate. And you a sucker. You can have your hate. Because nobody, we can't be loved by everybody. But I know that, uh, I know that I'm all right, man. This is a... Uh, this is uh it's just an unbelievable day for me, man. Yo, we salute you, man. Twelve o'clock today, you on. <laughs> Twelve o'clock today, I'm on. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm on, I'm on. All right, that's enough, man. Hot ninety seven morning show.